All right. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, welcome to the first ever Linkerty Day. We're happy to have you here. I'm Flynn from Buoyant. I'm going to be telling you who's speaking or something like that. Over here, we have our first speaker kicking everything off with the introductory remarks, William Morgan, the CEO of Buoyant, the one who got all this stuff started or something like that. Should I hype you up anymore? <laughs> have at it. Thank you, Flynn. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. The first ever Linkerd day. It's very early in the morning uh, or extremely late at night for many of us, depending on what time zones we came from. So I really appreciate you being here today and working through your, uh, your own biological limitations to stay awake. Okay, I'm going to do some housekeeping stuff uh, first. So if you are speaking here today, please arrive 15 minutes early. Catherine is German, and she wants to make sure everything is going to proceed in an orderly fashion. So uh, you know what happens if you're not here exactly 15 minutes before. All right, a couple uh, sponsor thank yous. Uh, let's see. First, I want to say a thank you to our gold sponsor, Arm. Philippe, are you here somewhere? Okay, if anyone is interested in talking about Arm on Linkerd, turns out that Linkerd rocks on Arm, so please go find uh, Philippe over here. Uh, there's a blog post here. We've got QR codes for your convenience blog post. We've got uh, Arm Neoverse for Edge. Uh, and then there's a very cool KubeCon talk coming up later this very conference about the magic of Arm and Linkerd. So please check those out and then come say hi to Philippe. I'd also like to say a special thank you to Buoyant. I have a lot to say about Buoyant because I am, as Flynn mentioned, the CEO of Buoyant, but I'm going to try to keep my enthusiasm in check and not talk too much about that. But I will say Buoyant has a booth back there, so please do uh, swing by and check out some of the very cool stuff we're doing around Linkerd uh, and ask for a demo of Buoyant Cloud. So thank you to Buoyant, sponsor of Linkerd Day. All right, we've got uh, only a couple hours in this event, and we have an incredible selection of talks. Flynn uh, and, and many of the other folks in our audience were on the program committee. We had some amazing submissions, and it was very hard to fit in. We didn't manage to fit in everything that we wanted. Um, but we're going to start off with uh, zero-cost Linkerd at Adidas. We're going to move on after a little coffee break. We're going to move on to cost-efficient multi-cluster monitoring. We're going to learn how Linkerd secures one-third of Norway's annual state budget. I sure hope Linkerd works. Uh-oh, only one person was laughing. Don't worry, it's fine. I'm pretty sure it works. Uh, we're going to hear a very cool talk, Zero to Prod, in two months with a team of one. Okay, we'll take a little break, and then uh, a personal favorite of mine, the negatives to a per-host service mesh. We'll hear about sidecar versus uh, per-host models. And then we have three lightning talks, and I encourage you to check out these lightning talks, because each of these were pretty much full talks, and it's due to limitations of time, we asked our speakers to squeeze 35 minutes of content down into five minutes, so uh, it's going to be a lot like listening to a podcast at like 3x speed. There will be a, a huge amount of content in there. And thank you to our speakers who went through that uh, non-ideal process. And then closing remarks, thankfully not by me. I'll get out of here, uh, and Casper will uh, take us home. After that, we're going to do some lounge lunch roundtable discussions. This is a mandatory event. You are not allowed to eat unless you go to one of these. That's not mandatory. I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, some of our speakers and other uh, Linkerd community members will be hosting some end user discussions. So if you want to go to lunch, and especially if you don't have any friends, which looks like many of you don't, now you can go to these lunch roundtable discussions and talk about Linkerd with your group of new newfound friends. This is going to happen at 1230. Um, so we'll break into small groups and um, you know, uh, you can suggest topics of your own or whatever you want to do. So for those of you coming in late, come on in. Welcome. At 12.30, we're going to do some mandatory lunch discussions, not mandatory. Um, so please be here at 12.30 or just stick around to the end of the talk uh, and have lunch with some of your newfound friends. Okay, finally, uh, I'm not going to talk too much about Linkerd 2.13 because it was announced uh, just a few weeks ago. Got some great new features. Uh, I think we have a maintainer session in KubeCon, so if you want to learn more about 2.13 and our plans for 2.14, we'll have a maintainer session. Um, 
so please check that out. Uh, and then we have these monthly, um, uh, the, many of the maintainers and, and Flynn uh, teach these monthly uh, hands-on workshops. So the next one, which is happening in May, uh, which is, believe it or not, next month, we'll cover uh, the two new features in, in Linkerd 2.13 circuit breakers and uh, fancy request routing. Okay. Finally, almost finally, and after this, I'm going to talk a little bit more, so I guess it's not finally. Uh, these two QR codes go to Google Forms. So take a little picture now, because these are not coming. Well, no, you'll see some of these again. This is how you can give us feedback. This is the first time we've ever done Linkerd Day. I want to make sure that we're doing this in a, in a good way. So the one on the left will give us feedback about the session as a whole. And then the one on the right, uh, I'm sorry, the other way around. The one on the left will be for individual talks. The one on the right uh, will be for the session as a whole. So if there's a speaker you think did a particularly good job, please give them some feedback. If there's a speaker you think could use some help, give them some helpful feedback. Um, everyone appreciates that. Okay, so that's the uh, that's kind of the, um, the the housekeeping stuff, and we'll see some of that uh, later. I did want to talk a little bit about uh, you know because this is the first time we've ever done Linkerd Day. I was thinking back about some of the history of of Linkerd, and you know it's been I, I pulled up the original blog post from the CNCF. It's been six years since Linkerd joined the CNCF. It's actually the I think the fifth project that ever joined, and it was a big deal at the time because the CNCF was quite small and not the giant uh, machinery that you see around you today. And if those, you know, for those of you who are in those early KubeCons, you know, they were like held in little hotel, you know, ballrooms, you know, you could fit a tiny, tiny uh, room, you could pretty much fit everyone who cared about Kubernetes in there. Uh, and so Linkerd has been around for a while. We actually graduated, you know, a few years ago, which is a top tier of, you know, of CNCF maturity. and. And um, we've never really had a Linkerd day until now. And part of the reason is because uh, it seemed like a lot of work, frankly, uh, but also because, you know, the adoption behind Linkerd has just, over the past year, it's been crazy because Linkerd is a pretty mature project, um, but the, the, the adoption has really ramped up over the past year. And it felt like we had to do this now. We have companies like Adidas and DB Shankar and Salt Security adopting Linkerd. We're gonna hear about some of those talks today. We have you know, a, a lot of other organizations around the world who we're not going to see here today who are adopting it, who are talking about it. Linkerd is powering systems that handle critical financial transactions, that handle personal health data, including potentially some of your personal health data. They handle 911 calls. These are incredibly sensitive systems. They have to be secure and they have to be reliable. And they are all relying in turn on Linkerd. Last year, the number of stable clusters around the world that are running Linkerd actually doubled. I think that's a pretty remarkable feat for a graduated project, right? And I think it's especially remarkable because in the early days, everyone told me that Linkerd was going to fail. I can't tell you how many times I heard, Google is gonna crush you. Kubernetes crushed Mesos, it's gonna happen to Linkerd. Why are you doing this? And I can't tell you how many times I heard, focusing on simplicity is not going to help. Kubernetes just crushed Docker Swarm. Swarm was simple. Kubernetes is complex. Simplicity is not going to win. And I can't tell you how many times I heard, oh, you've got better technology, but that doesn't matter. What about Betamax and VHS? We all know Betamax was a better system. Well, if you're old like me, you know Betamax was a better system. You know, I heard that over and over again, but we knew we had to try. We knew we couldn't just... Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Um, you know, we couldn't just shrug our shoulders and say, hey, I guess things just have to be shitty and complex in Kubernetes land, right? That didn't feel right to us. And the fact that we're here today, I think, is evidence that they were wrong, right? And the fact that you are here today is evidence that simplicity does matter and that better technology does make a difference and that focusing on operability and on reducing the human cost of running a service mesh is critical. And what is interesting to me is that in many ways, I think Linkerd is an inconvenient truth in this industry. Much of the cloud native ecosystem, I think, would prefer that Linkerd wasn't here, right? We make things harder for them. Cloud vendors have their own solutions. They want the ones that locks you into their platform. They don't like the ones, you know, the fact that Linkerd is so portable, right? And the consultants that we talk to, they often, they don't want to recommend Linkerd because they want to recommend the complex projects that require a lot of effort and investment so that that keeps them, you know, stuck in the, in, you know, making money from their clients. And the hobbyists that we talk to, 
You know, Linkerd is boring. It's a very boring project. We talk about how boring it is. They don't want that. They want the magic kernel sprinkles, you know, that, that solves everything. And they don't have to care or worry about debugging the kernel at, at three in the morning, right? Now, that's kind of a generalization, right? We've met consultants, some of whom are here today, who are doing the right thing for their customers. And they want to do the right thing. And we've met and we've partnered with cloud providers who understand the value of diversity in the ecosystem. They want to make Linkerd part of their platform. We've met hobbyists who are aware. I mean, I was a hobbyist myself for a long time, who was aware of the production costs and making intelligent decisions. But if you are here today and if you are choosing Linkerd, I think it's because you're brave. I think choosing Linkerd takes courage. It's not an easy choice. You know you're going to have to talk to your colleagues, and they're going to say, why aren't you using Istio? Why aren't you using Cilium? Why didn't you do no, 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 no. What about this blog post over here, right? And you're going to have to answer them, and you're going to have to defend your choice to them. And you're going to have to put yourself, and you're going to have to put your reputation on the line when you bring Linkerd into your organization. I think that is a brave act to do. It's a significant one. It takes courage, and it takes guts, and it takes gumption. And I'd like to thank you for doing that, because I know it's not easy. And on our side, and I'm going to stop talking now so you can all relax. On our side, I just promise you that we're going to do our best not to let you down. So if you are giving us the, if you are placing our trust, your trust in us, and bringing Linkerd into your organization, we're going to do our best to live up to that. So thank you all for being here today. I'm really excited about the talks that we have. And uh, I'll be out at the Buoyant booth. Please swing by and say hi. Once again, I'm William Morgan. Thank you, folks, and welcome to Linkerd Day.